Welcome to the Shiloh Daily Connection. There's an old song that says, Lord, send a revival. Lord, send a revival and let it begin in me. As we walk through the valley that we're walking through now in this age and this pandemic, one thing that uh, many of us are praying for is revival to begin within our own hearts, within our church. And in John chapter 12, verse 24, Jesus says, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. The idea is that the seed of revival must be planted in the proper soil so that our hearts are broken. Because God will never plant a seed upon the soil of a hard, unbroken heart. And so only when our heart is broken before the Lord and then as the seed has been planted like it is in the ground when it germinates and the shell cracks open and the life comes out, then we need to recognize our sinfulness in order to be broken. Be ready. Be obedient. Be repentant when we do confess our sin. We need also to be obedient, obedient to confess, obedient to be broken. Obedience must be instantaneous, it must be joyful, and it must be holy. And so we're looking at this because as we reflect on the goodness of God, the joy of the Lord fills our hearts and gives us strength every single day. And as we are broken before the Lord, confessing our sin and asking for Him to send revival, He can do just that because as the seed is germinated in the ground, and the seed cracks open, and life comes out. Lord, send revival, and let it begin in me. Thank you.